Hi again, my name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller. And today, once again, we're going to bags from our Goodwill Bins trip to St. Louis back in December. Getting there. Got a whole lot of plush to share with you guys though. So And some little people. And some little people. I figured I'd pull them out real quick. This is the table to the um, Thanksgiving set. And then I found one of the little characters. But man, she's got a whole lot of paint wear. So I don't know what I'll do. I don't know what I'll do with her. Just in your last what sold, you had, well, by the time they see this video, it might not be the last what sold. But in the one that went out, I think last night, you had a set of little people that had a lot of wear. Mm -hmm. And you sold more in a lot for a little 15, bit less. You know, it was like $12, so, $12, I think. Yeah. yeah. But they still sold. Yep. You just had to put more in the lot and they went away. Same here. Little Easter rabbit figure or costumed, but it's got a lot of paint wear. So if I have several that have lots of paint wear, I may go ahead and just put them together. And Because there's some people out there who like to, um, that they, they change them into other characters. I'm in Fisher Price groups on Facebook and there's one person that's like, We'll take some of the vintage figures and turn them in, all into Scooby-Doo or into, you know, these other shows. So, you know, just because it's damaged or not in the greatest condition doesn't mean you can't sell it. You know, it might be like a crafting project for somebody. People do that with lots of things. They do Lego minifigs mm -hmm. and they, they will paint them and decorate them. Customize. And customize. That's the good word. That's the word. And sell them for a lot more money or that... Blythe doll, is that the, the one I'm thinking of? Mm -hmm. They will, which sells for 500 ish with a broken leg. Right, but there's a more contemporary one, and I think that's the one they're using to customize. Right, and not they will, the vintage. They will, they will sculpt the nose down to make to change the shape of the nose and sell them for thousands of dollars. Yeah, there was an artist that did that with Bratz dolls too. She didn't like the faces that were just kind of too, too. For little, she thought for little girls, so she would remove everything and their hair and redo them to be more modest. That's the word. So, you know, you never know with these things. So, you know, even though it might, you might have to sell it for cheaper, you you probably could still sell it to somebody who's going to customize. You need to turn your phone down and let, quit letting it go off like that. Uh-huh. That's your phone. I ain't even turned mine on yet, so I can ignore you when you send me texts. Huh. <laughs> All right, this is Creations from Deluxe Playthings. I've got several of these listed. It's a nice vintage brand. I'm betting she had an outfit on that matched this. But still, I, I'm still thinking like $12 to $15 for it. Just very cute. Actually, there's... Yeah. Here's Ty. Normally, I won't pick up stuff like this tie but it did have its paper tag its name is silver some of the cats and dogs of the or i guess what are these called the beanie buddies um do okay but this is one of the ones i like these are called pillow pals even without its tag i i had like three of these probably i listed in the last six months and i'm pretty sure i have sold all of them already but it's from the 1990s. Uh, needs a bath. But I tend to pick up most hush puppies. Unless it's just really in bad condition. Even the little bean bag ones. Um, I can usually get my bread and butter price. You know, about $8 or so. This one's a little bit larger. He's got the little fake leather nose. Um, but the logo is here on his foot. It's still going to be bread and butter. And then this is BJ Toy Company. Another brand. I pick it up, but it's probably a little bit better than like Toy Factory. Maybe comparable to like some of the Kelly toys. Just a cute brand. I just bought it because, you know, hippos and elephants and some of the other animals tend to do better for me than like bears and bears and bears. how cute this is a and a plush just a cute floppy 
brown horse. It does need a bath also. Still bread and butter. For those new to my channel, when I say bread and butter, it's it's like usually eight to twelve dollars. I sell a lot of bread and butter. Look, I have another one up here on my wall. I'm redoing my wall. Hopefully by the next video, I've got some new treasures to put on there. So I'm having Robert redo my wall. I'm going to get shelves and stuff put up there. And I think I'm going to, I have a whole bunch of the, the buildings, the little people buildings. I think I'm going to put them up there, even though you guys can't really see them. But I can just admire them. And it'll free up shelves over there. But... This is the clown, Fisher Price, like de dress me type, but this is what happens when they get washed. That cute tag that I just love fades to nothingness. Bread and butter. I thought this got purchased for its cuteness factor. It's um, Classic Toy Company. Here's the tag. I keep forgetting to show you guys tags, and then I have people ask me, how do you know it's this brand? And you, I'm just reading it right off the tags. I just thought this is cute. I'm hoping like 15 or more for it. But every time you show a tag, it means more work for me. Because yes. Usually I have, I have it upside down or something like that. It Making my life difficult one tag at a time. <laughs> All right. This is Fairview. Nice vintage plush. Does have the little jingle bell there. I think Fairview was Kmart. I think in the past I have found plush that had its original tag and almost always it was Kmart. I'm positive. I had one of these listed recently. If not, then hopefully it's all of the conditions and everything are the same and I can just bump the quantity up. But yeah, he's got a little straw from the bins on his nose. Aurora, I pick up almost all that are like these six to eight inch plush. They're the perfect size for a young child. And then they turn into their favorite little plush and then it gets raggedy or it gets lost and mamas go looking for it on eBay. I sell a lot of these. Most of them are gonna be like six to $10 though. But when you're at the bins and you're paying, you know, not very much, that thing probably only weighs two or three ounces. Love the vintage. Look how cute. His whiskers are still in really nice condition. It is Dakin from 1973. Look, he's holding a little piece of cheese. Can you imagine since 1973, this is just a piece of felt. Can you imagine that this has survived? The whiskers have survived. It probably sat on a shelf and has just been admired. I don't know. I'm thinking $20, $25 for it. Now, this is funny. This is Babies Are Us. And my video that just went out last night, I'm pretty sure it showed a rabbit that looked very similar to this that sold instantly. You know, you can't find Babies Are Us too much unless you're online. So this is probably, hopefully will be the same thing. It's going to sell very quickly because somebody's going to have a search for Babies R Us dog plush. We forgot uh, two, that. Two things. When she says it went out last night, she means last night two weeks ago. Right. Because that's about when this video is going to come out. And, and she didn't turn the washing machine off. So you're going to hear all sorts of wonderful noises kicking in but yeah right there's the drain for the washing machine now as a good machine. husband i'm going to be the one to run upstairs and shut it Turn off i'm it sure off. I'm now, that, now that i've done your work <laughs> i'm staring at the picture y'all this is going to be in two weeks but i'm dealing with a sunburn that i just wasn't anticipating look all right this is fraggle rock it's toy factory but as for much as i put them down they come up with a lot of character plush from just almost anything you can think of. Probably Toy Factory has made a plush for it. And this is actually decent condition. It's going to need a bath. It's dirtier than I want to try to hand wash. So this will come off. I usually just set them aside. And then after it's washed and everything, if I remember, um, I'll, when I take pictures, I'll just include this in the bag. And then if somebody else wants to attach it, I will. They, you know, they can. 
how cute. This is Fisher Price from 2000. It says Tramp, so this must be from Lady and the Tramp. But I think, oh, it works. It's still got batteries in it. Y'all, if you're not, when you're storing plush, or any, well, anything, if it has batteries in it, take them out. You just don't ever know when it's going to go ahead and start leaking. I have, um, I always take them out, and then I, I now have little stickers that Robert printed out for me that says batteries not included. When I show the inside of a battery case, which you need to do that in every single video to show that there's no corrosion. Every single picture. Is that oh. what I said? Well, yeah, if well yeah, yeah. In every single picture of an item that has a battery compartment, open it up, take pictures of the inside. And in that picture, I usually put my sticker that says batteries not included. But that's a, you know, I'm constantly learning new things to do. And that's something that I've probably just started this year in all the years that I've been doing this. I got to correct my correction because neither one of us can speak appropriately. In every listing where you have a battery operated toy, have a picture of the battery compartment. Exactly. Maybe exactly. between the two of us on round two, we'll get the words out right. I know. Because I've had where somebody sent me a video, I mean, sent me a picture in a case that said this battery compartment was totally corroded and they send me a picture in my case and I call eBay and say, look, I've got pictures, and eBay closes the case. I can't stand liar buyers, liar buyers. But that's how I win those cases. And using a tape measure, because, you know, if they give you neutral feedback that says it's smaller than I expected, which I've had, eBay will remove it because I show what the size is in the description, in the title, and I have a tape measure for all of my items. Picture. Huh? Picture with a tape measure. Picture with a tape measure. All right. A few more things. This is... Oh, I thought it was Petting Zoo, but it's first in Maine. I wonder if it was supposed to... Nope. There's no battery anywhere. Just very cute. Funny thing with eBay is first in Maine, I don't think is a very large brand, but they have their own category. You know, with Dakin and Applause, and then there's other ones, you know, Walmart or any of these other ones that they don't have their own category. I just find it amazing. Princess Soft Toy, I think there's one of them in here. Another one that has their own category. But just, just thoughts. My thoughts. Oh, this is cute. Don't know what it is yet, but it's Disney. It's an armadillo. It's my guess. You think? Oh, yeah. Don't know what move. No, that's. Isn't that Chippendale? Dressed as an armadillo? Sir. Our redneck shown. Armadillo. Oh, armadillo. I just probably mimicked you just now. Are you mocking my, my <laughs> bad speech? <laughs> my, my poor grammar, my language skills and grammar skills? Yeah, Washington. That's the kids always go after him for Washington. Speaking of Princess Soft Toys, just another cute plush. I buy way too many bears. Way too many. I've got to stop. Well, this is cute. Five Nights at Freddy. Some of these do really well, but for the most part, most of these are going to be bread and butter. He definitely needs a bath. I think it's the Walmart exclusives. I don't know if Target has their own exclusives, but I've sold some for over $100. At first, I thought this was handmade, just because, you know, it, it looks it, but I'm seeing a tag. But it's a faded tag. I don't know. I don't know. Can't read it. It's very faded. Once I get my camera or my phone that I'm taking pictures with, then you can know, you know, ex make it larger. Cute. I'm hoping $20 or so for it, but we'll see. Here's Abby Cadabby. This is one of the um, Fisher Price talking ones. Fingers crossed it works. This year, this year, I'm going to make a pack that I'm going to get a screwdriver and batteries and bring it with me 
So I stopped buying all of these craziness. I bought you screwdrivers and you don't take it with you. I know, but I got to bring it with me. Yes. That's the problem. All things loveys. Even some of these generic ones. This is HB, which is Hudson Bay. And even Squiggles, which I think are the ones from like the dollar store. They all tend to do really well for me. Bread and butter, but they sell very quickly. But this one's just Hudson Bay. I, I want to think that that's Target, but I'm not quite sure. How cute. Look, Dakin. I've not seen this kind of tag before. It's probably more contemporary. Dakin and applause. Oh, it's a, here, Huggables. Very cute tag. But more contemporary because the older ones um, usually have a date on them and this one doesn't. And then this. This looks tar uh, Carter's. Yeah, it is. Just a cute plush. It was supposed to have, I think, a battery sound in it, but it's not working. I just put non-working sound box in my description. But some of these dogs that are like blue like this have done really well for me, but I've not had this one before. Look, big pig. I sell a lot of pigs. This one is Mary Meyer. There's her tag. You sure it's not a fox? No, it's not a fox. 1992. It's going to need a bath, but it's in really good condition otherwise. I don't know. I'm hoping 25 and up for it. You know, I'm... I'm yeah, coming up with all these things that I need, you know, that comes up in my Facebook group a lot. You know, if you can't find this exact plush, you know it's Mary Meyer. And by then I'll know what the size is. Just try to either go find a pig that's about this size, any other brand, and try to just kind of figure out comps that way. Or, like, go to Mary Meyer and see if there's other, like, farm animals that maybe we're in the same series and see what they're selling for. It's not accurate, accurate, but it gives you a ballpark idea and then go a little bit more. That's how I do it. Just go a little bit more and then comps are gonna, not comps, offers are going to really tell you what um, people think it might be worth. But not low ball offers. Yeah, not low ball offers. Because when it comes to doing the research on this, you don't want to spend four hours researching this when you could have listed how many more items in that four hours. You know, spend a little bit, spend a few minutes if you need to, and then move on to something else. Put a price. Yep. Now, if you have something exceedingly unique or vintage, seems very high dollar, then maybe you'll you'll want to spend a little more time trying to find that a better match for that. But just a regular old plush, list it, move on, get more things listed. You'll you'll make more money that way. I don't think I even spend thirty seconds on doing research. It's you know I do a spreadsheet, so I just copy and paste my title throw it in eBay, look at um, active listings, look at solds, to just, just kind of see, you know, because you're going to always see those solds that were way undervalued. I saw something yesterday that normally sells between $80 and $100, and somebody had sold it. Best, buy, best, you know, buy it now, $22. Somebody got a really good deal on that. So just, you know, check both to see have it, to get a better idea of what the value of the item is. And then we also use Worth Point when I'm still a little, you know, skeptical about pricing. But Terra Peak, too, is also one of your best friends, and it's free. And when you find a listed item that's $20 that should be selling for $80 to 100 that's always an opportunity to buy it for $20. And I and have done that. I have done that. Buy it Kipper. and resell it. Kipper, I did. All right. I got a bunch of these. Obviously, Goodwill was trying to sell them for $2, but these are all little clip-on ugly dolls, and there's more colors, and a, the whole bin was full of them, and I was over there grabbing a bunch of them, and then other ladies were standing there handing me more from the other side of the bin. So I'm not sure how I'm going to list these yet. I'm thinking maybe in small lots, but is it going to be two or three? I don't know. I try to do, you know, like, $9.95 is my minimum a lot of times. Now, I do go less on certain things, but for the most part. So, you know, if two of these I can get $9.95 for, then that's what I'll do. If it takes three, then that's what I'll do. But 
I got a bunch in this bag over here. And they should stay first class shipping that way. Yeah, too. I'll, of course, I will put them in a small, either like a six by six by four. I've got five by five by five boxes, whatever will fit it. I would not put them in a, a poly or a bubble Miller. All right, now these are called Kimochis. Let me show you the tag. I've not had this one before, but I have had another one where it always comes with these little emotions. A lot of times these are used like in preschool classrooms. You know, this one has mad and sad, and there's all kinds of emotions. Um, but I've not had this one before, but look, the head swivels. And so, you know, you could use it, you know, if you're sad, if you're happy, you know, it's just a good activity for that type of stuff. But somebody had a whole, Robert looked it up, had like just these, a whole bunch of them that had sold, that was like over a hundred dollars, but they had quite a few of these. These it's are- It's a bag of 50. Oh, a bag of 50. So, you know, this, I probably will not split them up. Somebody had just this listed. I think they had it for $29.95 and they took a best offer. So I'm not quite sure how much it actually sold for. But I'm, I'm hoping, I don't know, maybe $40 or $50 for this. But it does need a bath. So it's going to take a bit before I get it listed. But definitely, if you ever see things like this and see on the other side, it has the mad face. If you see these definitely grab them. There's a sad face, but it's called Kimochis. I got Rebel one of those for our anniversary. It just came with a pack of mad faces. <laughs> Y'all, you know better. You know better. Uh, Kelly Toy, it's a rattle. I don't, I'm hoping 12 to 15 for it, but again, it needs a bath. Look how cute. But again, look how dirty. It is very old. Embassy International. Made in the USA. See, it's got one of those old tags. Uh -oh. It's got more treasures from the bins. I don't know. I'm hoping maybe 20 or so for it. 25. Once I get it cleaned. And for stuff like that, I like the, the spray um, shout. Is that what it is? Shout? Yeah, I think that's what it is. Spray and shout. And I just spray them down and then put them in the wash. And sometimes it takes two washings because I don't have an agitator. And they just kind of need that friction. But otherwise, they usually come out very clean after that. Look, this is Animal Adventure 2018. Just a cute rabbit. Year of the rabbit, and it's almost Easter, so I have been selling a whole lot of rabbits. Now I got tears for tears in my head. Why? Her old song, Shout. Oh. <laughs> won't move. I just sold one of these. It says Bariff the Sheriff, and this is like in it, but I think the person who bought the, my last one, I had two plush bears that had Sheriff. So I'm assuming maybe they're a sheriff somewhere and they collect these, but he had bought two of them. I'm not quite sure who the brand is. Oh, it just says Bariff the Sheriff. Just cute. All right, wait, I have treasures to share, but not this one quite yet. This, you guys know, I love advertising plush. I like ever advertising coffee mugs, anything like that. But this is Rug Doctor. I'm probably, because it's all open anyway. I'm going to take it out of the bag when I go to list it. Um, just no clue because I've not had this one before, but I had a ton of advertising plush that I picked up almost two years ago at a high bid auction that we drove like three hours to go pick up stuff. But it was a lot of stuff and I've done extraordinarily well with that stuff. All right, my treasures. Now, I'm not quite sure about this one, but I just have a feeling this one for sh is a treasure. It says 1990. It's a doll. It gives you the, the number on it. Here's the vintage tag. But this is why I know it's something. This I know for sure is. 
These are called Fisher Price Slumber Babies. There's a whole series of them. This one is a lamb. I know I've picked up a white one before. I've had a pink one before. Um, these, look, probably the same bin because there's some more of that white stuff. There is a website. I'm not sure exactly how accurate it is, but it's called, I think, This Old Toy. And it's got a catalog in there that's it's all things Fisher Price. And a lot of times if you go in there and then you scroll down to the bottom and it'll say, you know, look up by like model number. If I go in there and I put in this 1481, it should tell me what this went to. It's, it's a, I'm assuming a baby to another plush because of the size. And it's got a little squeaker in. But that's how I'll, you know, if I go on eBay and nothing's pulled up by the 1481, um, then that's the route I'll go. And then back to this. I have found this several times. In fact, I found one in the bottom of a box that was like to be thrown away at a church sale one time. I looked at current solds. I think the prices are very low. I have sold these for over a hundred dollars before, but right now they're showing solds of like 40 and 50 and some people even have it listed less than that. It's just one of those moments. I'm going to go ahead and probably list mine probably anywhere from 60 to 80, depending on how clean I get it. Um, and then I'll just wait for the, the right person to come and buy it. But this came in, I think the highest priced one I saw was a white one. And in February, it sold for like $125. So, you know, the prices should be up there. But like a lot of things, people just start trying to under price everybody else. And before you know it, you know, the prices have tanked. But I'm the type of person who tries to start bringing them back up, hopefully. Hopefully. Because I got the storage. It can just sit out there and wait until, you know, everybody who's lowballing it you know sells off sounds like selling groceries on amazon selling groceries that's what we used to do sell groceries on amazon and you can, you can make three dollars on something and then three months later you're making 50 cents on 50 it. 50 cents yep i did not like amazon all right that's it this was a nice bag nice treasures so i'm gonna get most of this washed and get it hopefully processed here in the next couple of days and I'm trying to get a lot of the stuff listed before the video ever even goes out. So, you know, that those people who are interested in it can go ahead and try to go and see if it's still in my store. All right, let's get to work. Bye.